camera that changed my life, the Pentax 6x7. Some of my favorite lenses I've used on any camera. Heavy, but ergonomic. For some reason, it was immediately easier to compose my shots with this camera. 10 gorgeous shots a roll. I still remember my first 10 shots. It was actually a roll of 220 film, so it was my first 20 shots. Super expired Fujifilm, but it still worked out. That shoot opened my eyes to what film photography could be. So I started shooting ideas that I had. I fell in love with making conceptual studio photography with the help of my Pentax 6x7. It felt so good to focus on my ideas instead of struggling with the camera. Paired with the excitement of trying out new film stocks for the first time, learning to develop and scan my own film, and getting better and better at lighting my subjects along the way, I was having an amazing time. Finding the camera that when in your hand, truly feels like an extension of your vision rather than a device that holds you back from making what you want to create. There's very few feelings like it. I continued shooting studio photos on film with the Pentax. Then I ran around New York with it, which is where I met Volandis. Love you, bro. Every single situation I put it through, it fit the mold and helped me make the photos I wanted to make. A camera that feels like an extension of your vision might not be the Pentax 6x7 for you. It might be a digital camera, some random point and shoot film camera, a Nikon F2 or a random 6x6 you inherited from a relative. There are no rules. So what is this video even for? It's just a love letter to the Pentax. It changed my life not by being a Pentax 6x7. It changed my life by making me comfortable with film photography and switching the light on in my head to what I'm capable of. It helped me pursue the ideas I had in my head because for the first time, I knew I could make them. It's been my best friend shooting studio concepts here. There hasn't been a situation where it hasn't been by my side. Whether I'm shooting for an artist like Khalid, or shooting an artist like Marshmallow. New video with him next week, by the way. It's my ride or die camera. And despite its heftiness and somewhat problematic nature, I can always make room for it in my camera bag.